Hello, hello everybody. It's your boy, your partner, whatever you want to call me, Jonas. Uh, like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel so you'll be in the know before everybody else, including the president, all your favorite celebrities, and whoever about any of my new videos. You'll know before them about that. So you'll feel a little bit on top of the world. And don't, and I mean don't forget to hit the bell button to make sure that you get notified directly because sometimes those notifications don't come. Now, today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to use the uh, McDonald's app uh, pretty much and uh, just how to make orders of course there. It's changed quite a bit. Uh, before I get into there very quick, uh, something new we're going to start doing uh, with today's video and in future videos is I'm going to be doing a shout out to a subscriber. Anybody who subscribed to my channel do random, randomly by name. So make sure to watch uh, all my videos to make sure, see if you've been uh, like called out or so. Uh, nothing bad, but you know, of course. And uh, so I want to give a big shout out to Scott Briller, one of my subscribers. He subscribed a couple weeks ago. If you're watching this video, Scott, how are you doing, man? And so... Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing it randomly, um, you know, each video from now in the future, uh, definitely. The only catch is you have to be a subscriber who has, who, who can be visible. Username or your channel can be visible when you're subscribing to somebody else's channel. So that's the only catch because otherwise I wouldn't know who you are. So uh, that's the thing. So if you're happy, otherwise, uh, let's get this started. So uh, let's go to the McDonald's app, McD's app, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and... Uh, this is pretty much uh, the home page or starting page. Sometimes it'll it'll show you a top deal or offer there, and then it will give you these options. Um, similarly, uh, there's also the same options like you see your start order, view all deals, earn rewards, all that. Um, you find them around here as well too. You can choose do, doing it this way or whatever. I think uh, doing it this way is actually more simple because it you go straight and directly and more quicker. <laughs> okay. Um, so of course this is where you're going to need to go for mobile order and pay where you're going to make um choose what you want to order so you can pretty much order anything like all day breakfast sandwiches meals and dollar menu items anybody who is on a budget um and then like let's say classic chicken um now whenever you order something it will show you uh like pretty much the price the calories and uh, you have the option to customize it if you want certain toppings there, um, like mayonnaise or ketchup or pickles. Give you the option to do that. So that's pretty much a sweet thing. So what I like about this, and then it's easier rather than mentioning it to a cashier or somebody else. So that's what I like do, using this app for. Um, and you can choose multiple quantities, you know, like that. Pretty, pretty simple. Uh, just kind of read carefully. I have to warn you about that um, if you're not too used to this. And then you have an option to save it as a favorite, and then you can even put a nickname. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it right there. Um, and then when you order, um, notice that it's gonna have what you ordered uh, right there. Uh, previously, I had ordered a, you know, added cheeseburger and two cookies uh, by mistake, and uh, that's what will show up there. Um, and then uh, it will say choose payment. Or you have the option to also order more if you're not done, and then make sure to enter the card number of course uh, that you'll be charged at and that's will be charged once you order through this app or one, or maybe to the store depending uh, on your situation I guess it's varied quite a bit for me um, and then hit finish when you're ready to order and it should be there um, now additionally what you can do you can also access this uh, from one of the other menus uh, pretty easy if you want to see what you ordered and and it also shows the location, so make sure it's correct. You order the correct location, and uh, and like also there is favorites. Uh, you can even save not only your favorite item, but favorite orders. Um, if you order something like have a set, or like a like maybe a family that orders this exact thing every time, you have the option to save that, make it a favorite, make it more simple, uh, not complicated. And even locations, if you have a specific location, a restaurant you like to go to whether it's uh, the customer service uh you know was exceptional beyond that uh you know somebody was funny or maybe there's a guy or girl that you have a crush on uh, that you uh, that you know makes you want to go there you know i think we've all been in that situation <laughs> you know probably probably not the most wisest thing to mention but i just thought it just, just comes into mind most definitely so if you if you have one if you ever come one of those this kind of also come in handy <laughs> but anyways um so yeah like uh also um you also get to see the deals here which is what people love about this app and 
Uh, they change about sometimes every couple of days, uh, every week at least. Um, as you as you notice right here, some expire today, some expires um, in a few months or a few days. So it's about, and if they last for about a week, they start on Monday and into Sunday. Um, <laughs> that's when they change. So, um, and then you could also see the locations, uh, and you can see by zip code. Let's see, I'm gonna change the zip code around here. Uh, and then it'll show you the nearest one around you from your zip code, and then it will also show you the hours, of course, the address, and you know if you want to, and also to filter if it's, you know, drive-through mobile ordering certain uh, amenities or features. Uh, so it's really really simple, and then uh, you can also see nutrition nutrition info, uh, like on some of these, uh, pretty much all, all these menu items. Like let's say the strawberry shake, quite a bit of calories, maybe not as much as others, but. Now you can see all that uh, listed there. Um, and yeah, and also uh, keep in mind, uh, so for deals, uh, I forgot to mention, um, every Friday, uh, McDonald's has a uh, free medium fry offer uh, where if you purchase at least $1 of anything else, you get a free medium fry. So that's the only catch. You have to at least make a purchase of $1 or more, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, and you get a free medium fry. So, uh, you know, something to add on to your order if you happen to order on a Friday, if you're watch, especially if you're watching this on a Friday. So <laughs> anyways, um, but yeah. So and then once you do more order and pay, um, like when you complete the order, it will tell you um, where to go in terms of like um, whether you because it'll give you the option to go inside the restaurant and do curbside pickup and some people like to do curbside some people like to do the old-fashioned go inside um, so for curbside pickup I'm going to show you guys uh, pretty much uh, how to shortly on where to go and how to use it uh, you know when you order something on a like a uh, curbside option and then uh, for the counter of course uh, you can also uh, like you just go straight inside the restaurant um, and the curbside thing is pretty, you know, um, handy, especially on a rainy day or if you don't want to go inside, if you're tired or whatever. So it's pretty flexible. So uh, this app is, you know, just super helpful. And uh, it can be, like I said, it can be hard sometimes at first, you know, but once you get the hang of it, it shouldn't be that bad. And you can, it has all the information at your fingertips, you know, especially if you have some allergies or if you need to go find the nearest location, everything like that. So don't forget, don't forget to download this app. Don't forget to check it out almost every, every day you feel hungry because you never know what you'll find on there so it's pretty helpful and I'm going to show you guys uh, what to do when you get to McDonald's in terms of you know where to receive your orders and so here we are at McDonald's everybody now as you'll see right here some of the locations are big or some of them are smaller this one's a little bit bigger than some of the other ones now the curbside pickup sign is right in the middle of the parking lot sometimes it's right by the curb uh, depending on where it is um, it shouldn't be too hard to find the curbside pickup at this location it is right next to the building and so um, so they're numbered uh, this one's number four and five so if yours on the apps is four make sure you park in number four just so the employee will be able to recognize you most definitely don't get it confused with these reserved for drive-through signs that you see right there that's for drive-through orders that are waiting and so you want to park there in that case but uh, for mobile order curbside you want to go to one of those that looks like there's an iPad or a smartphone. Park in those and make sure the number matches. Thanks everybody and have a good one.